welcome to my channel. I'm about to um, make a tutorial about how to create an app. It contains um, a banner ad and a thread chart for now. No, I will use it. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the that bell notification for my next video that will come first. Thank you very much. Yes, it's now loaded now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is to create a new app. This app I'm gonna, I'm gonna to name it AdMob. Click on this plus button here and wait a little bit for it to come up. Okay, yes, that is now up. We name it AdMob. You go back to here, change the maybe if you want to change your the app um icon, so maybe your picture, maybe your friend, maybe whatever, a logo or whatever. Click on this change icon. It comes up like this. Choose from gallery. It opens. So let's use this. Let's use this. Okay. Look at the picture, it's now updated. You go to advanced settings. You need you go back to here, change it to Add mob. You go to pick your primary, your color. Let me use deep green. I mean, sorry, deep purple. This then click on create app. Loading. Cancel. Look at it. Click on this. now open then the first thing to do whenever it's open is to impute your Google account the one used for your ad mob registration that's how that by now has been approved you go back to here this place click on library it open look at this first one is app compact and design second one is firebase firebase is mainly for maybe once or app you want your app interface in such a way that people can like put their username, password, and then log in. That's when you use Firebase. So, you want to add more here. Says, um, okay, create a special account by logging in. That means, you, that means you just log in your Gmail account you use to. Maybe, your, maybe any Gmail account right, that you have around. Click on it. I'm going to use my own, the one I used, the new account which I created for this tutorial program. It's loading. Just wait a little bit longer, it's going to open. Okay, now loading. That is now opened then because we are we've not yet like registered for 
the monthly plan, which is 810 naira in Nigerian currency. We are, we, are, we, are more, we are more like using the free version of it, which means that we need to watch a video before we can be able to integrate our AdMob codes into the app. You click on watch your video. It's kind of my take at least 30 seconds to a minute before it's going to open based on your network strength and speed. I'm passing I'm using a 3G, I'm not sure it's going to be that fast. But let's hope so. Okay, it's now open. Wow. You click this cancel button here. Yeah, we wait a little a little while to see what's next. Okay. The video was not completed, so we have to watch it again. watch a video and please in case if you don't have this sketch with app please just don't forget to message me I'll send you the one I edited I edited Okay, now we click over to this cancel button up here. Yeah, and it's open like this. Look, if you have your your banner one code and your interstellar one code, you can either add it. Click here. Here, you write your your banner. And impute those codes that your number one code, which without your number one banner code, which is in your member account, you input it here. Or better still, you go back to link AdMob account, you click on it. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, it's now okay. Click on next. Look at banner banner AD. That is banner ads. Interest ads. Click on this. You look for your Okay, okay. It looks for your banner one. Let's see this banner one. Click on it. Interest your. Sorry, this account, this um, list is too long. It's just that I made um, two apps on that account which I made yesterday for this tutorial case study. Then you click on interest your. Let's see this one. Interest your. Yeah. Look at it. Click on next. Don't ever add. Click on this add device test. It, ju it just means that if you click on this, all your ads will be writing. Um, it's writing. Um, it's it's more like it's, it's writing test ID test ID, meaning that you're the creator of the app, and so you don't need to click because in this case, if you click on this, you can't save click again. But Google automatically, no matter how, they will know you're the one clicking on your ads. You click on next. Next. And you can save. And it's now out. You go back to here.
yeah it's now open you go over to okay get us back you go back to this place so in this case you scroll down here look at this add view you click on this add view here hmm? yeah add view here you go back to this this linear hitch just like create a space before your next um for your next banner adds to you click on it yeah okay it's okay this way um you go back to next another one place it here again yeah you go back to your add size let us make it a little bigger than the first one you go back to here there is a um, medium rectangle like is okay select based on choice you could also use this yeah okay let first of all remove this because we want to okay let's use linear hitch again down here yeah for spacing we'll then use another add view here yeah it's okay this way it's okay this way then we we'll go back to component component go back to this plus button here we we'll look for interesting ads click on it or now right let's let us let, okay let us name it ia but you can name it whatever you want maybe love anything just name it anything click on add yeah new blocks have waited blah, blah blah click on it again click on unloaded okay okay we want the this app to show interested ads therefore when this unloaded is now open like this we click on this this key here click on it this one click on it look for components Comp because remember remember that we looked for the when creating this um when when, when, when okay now remember when we went to component section we clicked on interested ads as that is under component so we'll go so, so now we'll go back to this place component again look for this last one here saying interested ads show we drag it over to here yes click on this look at the ia you select click on it you select it then you go over to this you go over to this uh -huh. we go back yes you go to invent click on event click on this okay this button again you go to file view then look for look for your ads button your banner ads button okay okay here we take it over here this is okay remember that we placed three ads at our home page so we pick also three two because if you don't put this when you run your the, this app it won't show but it will show any banner ads because your activity which is banner won't show because you didn't click on you, you didn't like choose these three banner ads code here so you click on this first one cut it one two three yeah remember why is, why is writing for is that remember in the in the beginning in that home page um, I removed one when I when I mistakenly after my first two banner I removed the third one just to put a space in before I place the last one there. That's why writing four here. Then you go back, you go back. Then we need a button that can show that you can click on. Then banner ads will come up. Look at this your view. Then look for button. Look at button here. You drag it over down here. Yes. 
then we need to name it okay make it a little bit stylish go to abcd that is the naming then let's remove it into enter i mean okay let's call it direct tail you save it then let's change the text size let's make it 16 16 is very, very okay i recommend it for everyone 16 is okay then you select yeah then the styling let's just make it a little bit bold bold is okay you can either choose bold italics or bold italics like this i seen it it's okay this way then um your app is ready to go then you click on this run ads Control ads go back run ads sorry ah sorry so sorry sorry something i didn't i didn't forget okay something 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 okay click on this your interest button again event meaning that when this button is clicked on what event should occur there click on event on click on click click on this again go to components remember that button was for that button is for interest ads which means that the components here also be interested so whenever the button is clicked look at one look at look at what's going to happen here is we create select you look at if you don't select this no matter even though this stuff is here it's not going to show interest ads so you create this click on load so you just like select it too yeah yeah you've seen it you've seen it your banner interracial your event my event here is um look at it here is those your ads and at this case at this junction we're gonna end this class here thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more for more interesting and more mind blowing next videos to come who knows maybe how to create an app like google how to make a, a music player via sketchware you know more things yet to come then it's done you can, but i don't know based on your choice you can also remove this last one here you know or better still change this this big one you change it to something you know more smaller like like um banner here that is not small but that's still but i love this one is okay you can also like make it smaller add more three but if you add more three you go back to this event too and then click on this and still add those banner um those this you so add more two or more three the number of this must correspond to what is in that your home it must correspond if not some abnormalities will occur okay at this stage we are done for today please any problem you can see my whatsapp number on the description link or maybe if you're in my group you can also like dm me because of any problem i'm always there two for seven for your service thanks and see you again you run it You run it. Okay, I'll be doing a PK and the rest. Thanks a lot. See you next class.